Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, so uh, thank you so much for braving the elements in order to, to be here this morning. Uh, it is absolutely wonderful to, to, to be able to have you here. I do actually want to start off with a little bit of an apology. Um, I, uh, I recently had eye surgery, uh, and so, uh, so I can't see the remarks uh, in front of me. Uh, so I'm going to freestyle a little bit, and anybody that's heard me freestyle, uh, you know that can be hazardous. Uh, unfortunately, I think there might be media here, so that could be occupationally hazardous as well. Uh, but, uh, um, uh, but I, but I want to start off uh, with, uh, with our welcomes. Uh, so first off, uh, I want to welcome some of our special guests. Uh, we've got Mrs. Green here. Thank you for, uh, for being here. Our elected officials, our CASAs, uh, and of course, uh, our Fort Campbell champions. Uh, thank you all so much uh, for being here. Um, I'd like to offer a very special welcome to our gold star and surviving family members. You honor us by your presence here today. Uh, and I just want you to know that Command Sergeant Major Walker and I are committed uh, not only to continue to honor the sacrifice of your loved one, uh, but honoring your sacrifice uh, as well. So thank you for being here. Uh, I also wanna say a thank you. Um, as you all know, uh, you know there's a, a lot of work that goes into this particular boot display. Uh, so there's a bunch of people that worked uh, uh, diligently for, uh, for many days in order to be able to put this thing together. We've been doing this since 2014, so uh, now we're at about 10 years on. And, uh, and I would tell you that it is truly a labor of love. So uh, if you could, please join me in giving an applause to those that worked so hard to, to make this display. I think we can all agree uh, this is an incredibly powerful display uh, that we have here in, in front of us. Uh, and I think that it's actually appropriate uh, that we begin our Week of the Eagles uh, with this as our first official event. Isn't that funny? Um, as, our, as our first official event. Um, uh, because it's a great reminder and I think it starts us off on the, on the right foot in order to be able to remember uh, what it is that we do and what the cost uh, can be when we do this. Uh, so what you see in front of you, uh, 7,943 boots uh, that are here on the lawn. Um, that represents every service member from each service uh, who has died uh, since 9-11-2001. Uh, 759 of those boots uh, represent soldiers that were serving here at Fort Campbell at the time of that loss. Uh, and just in the, last, uh, in the last time since we did this boot display, we've added 27 more boots uh, just in the last year from all services uh, from this particular area. Uh, so when I was thinking about what I would say here at this, uh, at this ceremony, uh, it certainly made me reflect on why do we do this? Um, you know, why do we take the time and expend the effort to etch names in marble at the Vietnam War Memorial? Why do we take the time to put pictures in frames at the SOS building? Why do we have a Memorial Row one street over uh, that has names and faces and names of battles uh, that have been fought? Why is it that we do that? Uh, and I would tell you that I think it's uh, for a couple of reasons. One of them uh, certainly is to remember each one of those individuals. Um, but I would also say that there's a, there's a lot that is there for us to remind us uh, that these are more uh, than just uh, boots on the lawn. Uh, so as you look out here, 7,943 boots on the lawn, but they are more than just boots on the lawn. Each one of those represents uh, a citizen who raised their right hand and swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. They signed up to serve something bigger than themselves. So each boot on the lawn there is a reminder to us that we have a sacred obligation, that freedom is not free, it is made free through sacrifice. So these are more than just boots on the lawn. Each one of these boots out here represents a family member, represents someone who was loved by their family, who loved their family back, who had aspirations for the future. And so each of those boots out there is a reminder to us that a sacrifice is not just the sacrifice of an individual, 
It is the sacrifice of a family. These are more than just boots on the lawn. Each one of them was a colleague, a teammate, a member of a military team who was out there serving every day, day in and day out. So each of those boots on the lawn is the reminder to us that we have to get up every day and we must continue to execute what is our mission. We must train hard and we must be prepared to uphold freedom for other nations. And each one of these is more than just a boot on the lawn. Uh, once the pain subsides, once the mourning is complete, we need to be reminded of their sacrifice. We need to put these boots on the lawn in order to remind us of what it is that they did in the service of their nation and be reminded of that. So in a moment here, Command Sergeant Major Walker and I are gonna place two more boots out here. Uh, I will place the boot for Sergeant Eric Houck. He will place the boot for Sergeant William Bays. They served in 3rd Brigade and they were deployed to Afghanistan. And on June 10th, 2017, they died in Nangahar province as a result of an insider attack from an Afghanistan soldier. And I would tell you that it ripped at the core, the fabric of this division, because nothing is more insidious than an insider attack. And so we will place those boots on the lawn in order to be able to ensure that year after year, there is a physical reminder out there of their service and their sacrifice. Uh, so in closing, I'd, I'd like to thank you all again uh, for being here. Um, uh, for those of us who remain here, uh, we have to have these boots on the lawn. We need them to remind us that every day we have to wake up and we have to be the best version of ourselves. We have to be the best mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters and husbands and wives that we can possibly be in order to be able to live up to their service and their sacrifice. May we never forget. Screaming Eagles, Air Assault.